Hello there guys, I've got a video here for you today that shows an amazing photography A-level investigation into the theme of classical elements. As you can see here on this little image on the screen, it just shows you the rough workload the student did. Uh, there was two A3 workbooks, one essay, uh, 30 A4 portfolio prints and three essential sheets which rationalise and explain the artist's connections and show a little summary of the best parts of the work that you've done so far. Uh, you don't have to do two A3 workbooks but generally you have to show a breadth of investigation I have included the start of this student's work previously in a YouTube video which went and made me feel a little bit like this. But since then the student has finished their work, completed their portfolio and this video is going to show you the actual full submission of images. Um, just to follow is then going to be each one of those books and all of the supporting sheets that make up that student's work. This is the first book here. This is again A3 in size. This is just a title page and rough ideas, mood boards that start to make up the student's investigation. Everything's explained and annotated and thoroughly sort of like shows that understanding that you need to communicate to the examiner. Don't just use Google to look for images, use Behance, use Pinterest. Try and think of as many creative ways of researching artists as possible. It also helps to get out there and visit exhibitions as well. In these pages that are going past, these are just a quick showcase of different sets that the student took, all to do with classical elements, whether it's earth, wind, fire, or water. They all have a different theme specifically for that element. Sometimes they use portraiture, other times they use elements of the landscape to showcase an idea. Each one of the sets is corrected, it's explained, ideas for de development are targeted, and it's just a really, really clear and concise way of presenting work. And it's a really, really good um, example that I will be using to show to my students as well. As the sets progress, you can see that she starts to develop ideas in quite a traditional way, using series, layered images to merge images and ideas together. Ideas then become more intentional as the book progresses, as she then determines um, elemental signs and characters which she uses as a formatting tool as well as a composition tool. And then she also then evaluates the work as it progresses, targeting new ways to develop. This white book here, which is called The Classical Elements, just showcases different sketches and um, examples of artwork that the student has created to support the photography and develop the photography. You don't have to necessarily undertake lots of arts-based themes um, if you are more of a straight photographer or you have other disciplines, but it does very much help to show your idea through communicating through drawings to the examiner. No matter how simplistic they are, it's totally up to you, but it has to have some sort of connection to the theme. In this particular book, the textile piece that you can just see here on the screen was a very, very good example of this. Uh, the student had textiles interests and they decided to use that along with artist links and connections to the work to develop her ideas even further. This is where book two starts. And this is again, the, right at the start, just showing a little sort of splice together of ideas, what she's intending on doing and how she intends to develop those ideas in the beginning. She then takes uh, refined sets uh, that are still approaching those original elements, but she tries to do it in more of a refined way, whether that's looking at settings, whether that's looking at posing, whether that's lighting, something to push it forward just that little bit more, which she explains in the writing. Every single page has got a mixture of evidence pages as well as then showcase pages showing each of the different images she creates. And as you can see here, just on the one above, she then becomes more interested in different ways of presenting work and images. Uh, in this case, circular compositions, which related directly to the idea of uh, the yin yang symbol and also other natural ways of presenting images to link back directly to a theme. As the book progresses, she then links together themes through each individual element and then showcases them within then each of the different shapes and ways of developing that she's determined. And then as the book finalises, she looks at creating things that are to do with uh, relief and slight ways of using like contours because the student's quite interested in using geography, as well as then linking it back to land-based artists such as Anthony Gormley and the other people which you'll see in the book that show uh, a link to that natural world, which is what she wanted to get across in the work. As the investigation then came to more of a close, she then became interested in showing more contextual connections to an artist called Matt Harvey showing the story in quite a sophisticated, more illustrative approach rather than just using photography. So she wanted to then capture a range of silhouettes and motions and actions, which she then exposed and layered different landscapes and elemental images into to create a story about the environment and then messages about uh, environmental concerns directly 
into the work that she was making. Um, the remainder of the book is more showing the showcases of that, other ways that it could be developed with advertising, possibly links to uh, like branding, or again back to textiles or acetates to showcase arts-based approaches. She then experimented with burning things to relate back to the actual element of fire before the final piece was based around a cyclical composition which related directly to the artist she investigated as well as uh, the theme itself. These relief images that you can see on the screen were raised onto different layers of cardboard and foam board again to relate back to the contours of a map and show that land-based geographical link to the work. These final pages that you can see here are examples of the essential sheets which I uh, mentioned right at the start of the video the rationale, contents and connection sheets that just show clearly the links between the artists you investigate, the ways that you've developed them into the style of artists as well as your own style, and then a rationale of information that explains the context, context and theme in your work. In the final images, nearly forgot to mention, um, here are a couple of quick snaps of this student's essay. Obviously because it's an essay unit, you have to have that 3,000 words of continuous writing and continuous prose, otherwise your work can't be submitted for A level. Uh, that has to then be uh, submitted along with the rest of your work, and that goes to the written content of your entire grade. Uh, it does help if you can make that essay about your work and not something separate, and make sure you get your teacher to go through it and review plenty of drafts with you. I have made a previous video about that, so if you want to check my channel to see that as well, you're more than welcome. Apart from that, no. If you have any questions about this, please message me through the channel. Apart from that, I hope you've enjoyed this book as much as I enjoyed going through it when I was marking it. Thanks. Bye.